The Volumes of Truth, Volume 1. Know that which has been poured out, the Word of God. December 13, 2004. From Yahushua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior. The Word of the Lord spoken to Timothy. For a brother in Christ, and for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord. How is it you have not recognized that which comes from the Father? For that which is of the devil is made plain, and surrounds you on every side. Therefore the things of God become that much more precious, even as you my son, are most precious in my sight. Like a gemstone shining in the midst of all this darkness, easily found by the eyes of God. So shall you be, in the day you surrender your life, the day you give up this fight, and return to me. Do you not understand that I have saved you? No, not by your own works, but by my life, which I willingly gave up for you. Therefore, turn to me holy and in truth, and no more let the doctrines of men in the churches steal from your trust, nor let their traditions pollute your faith any more. Be set apart from the ways of this world, and depart from the churches of men. For I alone am your faith. I alone am your completion. Therefore listen, and you will also know. For by the Spirit of God are all things revealed to the chosen. Search your heart my son, and you will find me. Embrace my words, and you will begin to know me. For indeed, there are many gifts of the Spirit, which I bestow upon all those who love me. Many gifts given to those who are willing to give up everything, and follow me. Thus Timothy is just one among many, who hear my voice. One voice in a great chorus, growing ever louder. Of the number, I am sending. Yet to him did I say, Write that which I speak, and place it in a book. Also commanding him to share that, which the Spirit causes him to understand. For the latter is that which my people call inspired of God, or inspired in the Spirit. And the former, that which the prophets hear. The voice, of the living God. Therefore listen to Timothy, for he speaks for me. He hears my voice. Behold, he has sat in my presence, and strives to obey all I ask of him. Do not say then, nor conceive any notion within your heart, that he may be deceived by the devil. Or have you never read these scriptures? Every kingdom divided against itself will surely be brought to ruin, and every house divided against itself will collapse. If Satan also is divided against himself, how then will his kingdom stand? Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? For a good tree brings forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And every tree that does not bring forth good fruit, is hewn down, and cast into the fire. Thus by their fruits, you shall know them. And was I speaking only of the false prophets, or of the true, also? Is it not also implied, that I speak of their message? And what of all these self-appointed scholars, teachers, pastors, preachers, ministers, and priests, who have set themselves up as an authority? What fruit do they bear according to the Scriptures? Come out from among them. No longer embrace their corrupt doctrines nor take part in their filthy traditions. Stand apart from those who mix the holy with the profane. Depart from that which is covered in purple and scarlet. And no more practice that which is an abomination in the eyes of God. For it is the humble penitent man, who hears God. One who is willing to give up his life in this world, for my sake. Therefore take my words to heart, and understand. Any man who shares my word with others, is my servant. And any man who hears my voice, in whose hand I have placed the trumpet, is my prophet. Even all those I send, are my apostles. And any who heed these words, and also do them, shall be called a friend of God. Beloved, this word, even every volume, to every letter, is the word of my glory, which I have put forth, once again. A testament of my love and sacrifice, the announcement of my coming, a proclamation of truth, revelation, of who I really am, the trumpet call, of God, so all those called and chosen, may hear, and come to me in their proper time, and season. Behold, 
It is also a strong correction, for all those who have taken to themselves, my name, and my word, to pollute it, a plumb line, for this wicked generation, for this word is a waving banner, an ensign to all nations, a trumpet of alarm and war, the sound of recompense and judgment, which shall soon fall, upon every nation. For I am, who I am, the only begotten of the Father, the one true God, and Saviour, the Mashiach, Yahushua, Yahuwah.